All in minor league. The Tannen Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? No! What a pistol. Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Check it out. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Ooh. Okay, but... Biff, what happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid of my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. I was wondering. Don't. Ah. Oh. I was wondering. Don't. One more question. Where do these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's called the birds and the bugs, butthead! <laughs> Stupid idiots. Piece of cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Get in! This timeline's been compromised! Oh no shit! Kidding. <laughs> Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tannen to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade? We've got to go back to the day Kid Tanner was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. La 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 <sighs> oh, I just woke up. Sorry. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight. Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. You yep. need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. Oh god, stupid bitch. 
Wait, what's this? Huh, looks like Emmett's been busy. You better leave me alone, you whore. Pardon me, oh, sir. Fuck. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? Uh, no. At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Leave me alone. God. Unfortunately, I don't have the song. What in the Oh, sorry. Mr. Why? Hello, Sonny. Sonny? Mr. Crockett, what are you doing in that getup? I'm going on. And you you're not angry. Oh, shut up. A chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Annie and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Who died and made you boss? The old gray mare? Take a hike, squirt. told you about this place. Place to call to my travel agent. What's the big idea? Uh, stitch in time saves nine. <sighs> Settle down, mister. Why don't you wait outside and take a nap? Napkin, please. I've made a mess. Lol. Who died and made you boss? Joe Piscopo? No solicitors. No solicitors. Ah, terse and to the point. Who's your commanding officer? Commanding officer, uh, sir. Sir Galahad. Really? Is he as tall as he appears on screen? On screen, uh. Screens can be deceiving. Take all the action to the guard statements and patterns. Response How do they letter? How do the letter relate to the former? Here's the key to the pattern. Turn this over in your head. The first syllabi of the correct response sounds the same as the last syllabi of matches challenge. Ew. Ew. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. Who is the king of Siam? Bruce Springsteen? Nah, I don't get it. What will you do if I let you inside? Inside? Side with the enemy. What will you do tomorrow? Tomorrow... Roam the streets. Who said you were worthy? Worthy. The old gray mare? What will you do if I break your leg? 
Lego your ego? Where did you come from? From Russia. Uh, with love. Welcome to L Kid, sir. Yay, I men. Yay! Hooray! Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Nom, nom, nom. Looks pretty nice, though. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L-Kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Osper, Danny, Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look familiar. Nah. <laughs> oh, stranger. <laughs> Sit down and have a drink on me. You be drinking so much on duty? Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, hey, we got fun. Not much money, oh, but honey. Whoopee! Yeah, now about those troubles. Uh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. It's luck. If I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. So about those troubles? Should you be probably? Ugh. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? Hints. Officer Park wants to bury his child with you or getting to help the new got to unnerve them. Parker is in the mood to talk, how can you change the mood in the speakeasy? Uh, how pretend cheap music is. Parker will tell you his woes if he if he's in a blue mood. Pick out a sad song for Trixie to sing. to me my melancholy baby cuddle up and don't be blue all your fears are foolish fancy maybe Danny you know dear that I'm in love so about those you. troubles they all started on uh, uh, June 14th I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this, uh, this car straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hadn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, 
I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist when not one but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. <laughs> and worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Ugh, I need to change the music again. God damn it. Danny, you! So about that secret. Oh yeah, my secret. Well, you're my pal. Well, I can tell you, but don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way. While evidence is getting destroyed, or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line, and Tannen make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? What about Trixie Trotter? She'd like to leave Kid, but she knows what would happen if she tried. Oh, uh, poor Kid. Stuck with a big thug like that. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny. Pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. Huh. Hang in there, Danny. Oh God. What music do I need? Do we need now? <clears throat> Happy song. Get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? 
More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, <sighs> God. Who's that woman? Fuck off. Dude. Jesus. Who's that? Danny, you! Trust me, things are... Why? I don't think there's... You know, what are you, my... More like... What? Never mind. Huh. Oh, God. Yes. Nothing tricks you to the Bosch Park from his black mood. Nothing in... in her current repertoire. Oh, yeah, I got the cheat music thingy. Right? Uh, I don't know what to do. Dude! Jesus. Trixie ain't the only war warbler in Hill Valley. Edna's theme song is entitled You Should Care and Parker Should. Hey, nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? The name's, uh, Sonny Crockett. Nobody. I mean, you don't know me. I, I come from a, a very different place. Come on. What's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Mm, yeah. Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving until you show me some boner fides. Don't they have to still have the gun? Yeah, there we go. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> Hey, I want my... Oh, alright. I still have it. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some... Hey, Toots, any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh... Assets. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to ya. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh, yeah. Sore throat. That's why I'm giving Cuball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. Hey, your song seemed to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. <sighs> I don't care. 
What are those? Any lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. I don't care. It's the lyrics to her song. Nothing interests you. I can buy back up and la Jesus, stop doing that! All right. Hey, Artie. He's back. What the? Hey, Edna. Oh, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the stay so I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Fine. Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request uh... it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. A goal that you could name, reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You oh my should God. Care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's, uh... Got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if... Uh, do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. Uh, bye. See ya. Keep fighting the good... That's enough. Wait, wait, wait. Doc, Doc. Let's talk. So look at Doc. Whatever. <laughs> oh, do I need three questions again? Welcome back, sir. Oh, awesome. Looks like Parker's still parked. <laughs> uh, Trixie? Yeah? Break a leg. Thanks. Hey, Trixie, look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. 
and all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was, and let the chips fall where they may. All right. So, now what? Now I wait. Wait for the moment to take down Kid Tannen. 